Greetings, fellow readers. Today I'm going to go into one of my favorite sci-fi series in recent years. The series starts off similar to Isomoff or Arthur C. Clarke or any of the other Golden Age writers, but it takes a very unique cultural and philosophical twist about midway through. By the end, it's touched on genres as versus detective novels, sci-fi conspiracy theory, dystopia, military sci-fi, and even Lovecraftian space horror. So, what am I referring to? I'm referring to Three Body Problem and its two sequels, The Dark Forest and Death's End. All three of these novels were translated from Mandarin Chinese, and they still won a bunch of awards, which makes it doubly impressive to me. The first and third novels in this series were translated by Ken Liu. The first book in the series, Three Body Problem, won the Yugo Award. This novel was really cool, and it starts off as sort of a mystery story, but towards the end it gets into first contact and a bit of evolutionary psychology and a whole lot of very interesting philosophical issues about communicating with an alien race or non-human intelligence in general. Just like Asimov's Foundation series, and without spoiling too much, each of these books, broadly speaking, takes place in different eras from different characters' point of view. There sometimes are recurring characters, but in between the, these books there's often hundreds of years going by, so not all the characters uh, jump forward in time. This is a fairly hard sci-fi universe, and uh, cryogenic stasis and hibernation tend to be one of the more common technologies that the protagonist used to navigate forward in the time stream, though there's a couple minor points I'll get to later on. I would just try to keep the spoilers to a minimum here. The first book basically goes from the Cultural Revolution in China all the way up through the present and essentially the near future, about first contact with a technologically and scientifically more advanced alien species. In the second book in the series, The Dark Forest, the main logic is one of deterrence rather than necessarily a swashbuckling space opera. There's various plans and plots put into motion to try and thwart the uh, machinations and invasions of a technologically uh, superior alien race, the Trisolarians, who are some of the cooler aliens I've read in recent books. The last book in the series, Death's End, is basically when we go from a mid to near future space opera to deep time kind of Lovecraftian cosmic horror. Uh, there's, a, there's a very cool protagonist for the third book, but uh, I recommend you just have to read the others in series. This is one of those big, epic kind of sagas. While these stories aren't 100% pure hard sci-fi for all you purists out there, there is a good amount of uh, well-researched work, and when fictional technologies are introduced, they're dealt with, I think, in a fairly detailed way that Robert Heinlein would be proud of. But plot and setting aside, the most interesting thing in this series to me is actually the uh, Chinese writer's point of view. A lot of the various notes and commentary in these books is reflective of different episodes in Chinese history, or can be interpreted as such. Now, I don't want to get into specifics, but really handy footnotes in all of these books detail some of the parallels and some of the allusions they make. David Brin really liked these books, and I can see why. Concept-oriented sci-fi like this, especially from a different culture, is fairly rare nowadays, and it's something that I highly recommend you guys check out as well. I do have one really, really minor issue with some of the uh, technologies and setting, though. That is, uh, why are there no, like, cybernetics or research into longevity technology and similar stuff? Because one of the uh, key factors throughout much of the series is the anticipation of this alien super high-tech battle fleet that's going to arrive in a couple of centuries, and they don't really think on ways to keep their best commanders alive or stuff along those lines, other than just putting them in a cryopod for a, a few centuries and essentially waiting for the bad guys to show up. So let me know your thoughts, and I hope to see you next time here at the School of Night.